Welcome to our lecture online. Our first topic in pre-calculus is the absolute value sign or symbol. And so what that means is whenever you see vertical lines like that around the number, we just take the positive value of that. So if the number is negative 3, we write 3. If we take the absolute value of 3, that is also 3. It doesn't matter if the number is positive or negative, the absolute value of that will always be the positive value. Now, what if we have a whole expression like that? Well, we first work it out, see what it is. And so we have a minus 5 and minus 25 is minus 30. Uh, plus 16 is minus 14. Plus 2 is minus 12. So this ends up being the absolute value of minus 12. And since the result of this expression is a negative number, we then simply make that into a positive number. So this is equal to 12. So again, whenever you see the absolute value sign, it means the positive value of whatever is inside that absolute value sign. Now we have to be very careful about one thing. The absolute value of a variable or a constant that you don't know what it may be is going to be equal to a if that constant is greater than zero to begin with. But the absolute value of a will be negative a if a was a negative number to begin with. You say, well, wait a minute. How can you take the absolute value sign of something and have the negative value? But that's not the case because, for example, if a is negative 6, and you take the absolute value of negative 6, six that is equal to a positive 6, and of course that makes sense, but then realize that that pos positive 6 is actually the negative value of a since a was a negative 6. And you can see why that is, because this is equal to negative times the negative 6, which is equal to a positive 6, and therefore the absolute value symbol gave you a positive result, even though it may appear in this case that you got a negative result, which is not the case. Whenever you have the absolute value symbol, you always will get a positive result, no matter what is inside that absolute value symbol. And just be careful, sometimes it may not look like it, but it always is the case. And that's that. We'll show you some examples on the next video.